Welcome back to the Brooklyn Brothers. Chef Dominic is on a mini vacation this week. Anyway, I thought I'd whip up an Easter tree. We call this Pizza Rustica. And uh, it's also known as uh, the Easter Pot. Anyway, we're gonna show you how to make this wonderful dish. Let's get cooking. All right, now we're gonna start up on our pie crust. Okay, we have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now we're gonna go ahead and add about a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. I'm using sea salt. And we're gonna go ahead and just mix that around a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add the flour to the ninja. You can use a food processor as well. We're gonna go ahead and mix the butter with the flour. You wanna make sure the butter is cold when you pour it into the flour. This way it incorporates the flour really well. Okay, flour's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and add the flour and butter mixture to the bowl. Now we're gonna go ahead and make a well for the eggs. We're gonna go ahead and add three eggs. I wanna make sure they're room temperature. Make sure there's no shells in there. Go ahead and beat the eggs in here inside the well. I'm gonna go ahead and fold the flour and butter into the center. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and start kneading the dough by, by hand. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and knead the rest of this on the board. Now we're going to finish kneading the dough on the board here. Okay, dough is ready. I'm going to go ahead and just make this into a little ball. Wrap it up in some plastic wrap. All right, now I'm going to refrigerate this dough overnight and then we will make the pizza rustica or the Easter pie in the morning. All right, let's get started putting this Easter pie together or the pizza rustica. I had my dough in the refrigerator overnight. It's all ready to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put together our ricotta mixture with all the meats and cheeses. All of our ingredients ready. We have our cheeses, we have some Reggiano Parmigiano, we have some provolone, and we have our meats. We have some ham, we have some Genoa salami, prosciutto, uh, something that I'm going to add, the green onion. Uh, this is something that uh, our friend Daddy Jack Chaplin always used uh, in a lot of his dishes and uh, really does enhance the flavors. And we have our rigotta and our eggs. All right, let's start chopping up these meats and cheeses. All right, we're gonna 
dice up our provolone first. You want to make them small cubes. You don't want them too big. You want it to get evenly distributed inside of the, the mixture. Provolone is very tasty. I like it a lot better than mozzarella cheese. It has a lot more flavor to it. This is a slightly aged provolone. Gives it a little taste. Plus, it's real creamy when it melts. Okay, now we're gonna slice up or dice up the uh, Genoa salami. This was definitely a favorite as a kid. We used to call it meat pie. It's got a few names. Pizzaristica, meat pie, and also the Easter pie. Gonna dice these up, nice little cubes. You can actually use any cured meat, like cavacolo, even cooked sausage is good in this day. This is a really good ham. You wanna be sure you cut off the fat before you dice it up. Save it for some beans or something. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and dice this up. Just like we did the salami and the prosciutto. Nice small cubes. These are about two ounces of meat. Uh, for each meat, we got two ounces of ham, we have two ounces of uh, salami, two ounces of, uh, pro, uh, of uh, prosciutto. And then we have about eight ounces of the provolone cheese. I'm going to grate about a half a cup of this Reggiano Parmigiano. This is the best Parmesan right here, in my opinion. Okay, we have all of our ingredients prepped. Now we're ready to put the ricotta mix together. All right, we have all of our ingredients prepped. Now we're ready to put together the ricotta mixture. Okay, we have our whole milk ricotta. Make sure you use whole milk for this recipe. This is about a 15 ounce container. <clears throat> add that in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the eight ounces of provolone cheese. And then two ounces of the prosciutto. Ask the deli when you go there to uh, cut it like about a quarter of an inch thick. This way you have some nice chunks. <clears throat> we have our Genoa salami, about two ounces, and two ounces of ham. <clears throat> Get that all in there. And we have about a quarter cup of Reggiano Parmesan, and about a quarter cup of cut green onions. Now we'll go ahead and add five eggs, five large eggs. Now we'll go ahead and add about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And about a teaspoon of salt. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and mix this all together. Make sure all the eggs are spread evenly throughout this sort of got the mixture. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. There we go. All right, now let's get our pie dough all stretched out. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do before we stretch out the dough, we're gonna go ahead and grease the bottom of this pan here. This way the uh, the crust doesn't stick to it. I took a half a stick or a quarter stick of butter actually and just gonna go ahead and rub it around the bottom and the sides. Get it all in there nice. Okay. Go ahead and take about two thirds of this dough and then we're gonna go ahead and stretch that for the bottom layer. 
the bottom layer leaves a little more dough than the top. About a 10 inch pan, so you want to make sure you stretch it out a little bit more than the diameter of the rim. Right, once that's all stretched out, go ahead and place this dough inside the pan, and then you want to tuck it to the corner. Like so. Okay, I'm gonna take your knife and just cut around the corners here to trim up the excess dough. Real easy. There we go. Base is all ready. Now we're going to go ahead and add our the mix. Pour it right in the center. Spread that around nice and evenly. All right, now we're going to get the top layer of the dough ready. Now we're going to form the little top layer. That should do it. Trim it around the sides here. I'm just going to go ahead and fold the corners. Just give it a little crust on the end there. Like so. We're just going to brush the top with some egg wash all around, just covering up the whole pie. I don't want to put too much on it, just enough to spread around there. Then we want to go ahead and cut using a sharp knife, just put like an X. And that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and bake this in the oven. We'll be eating in about a, an hour or so. All right, I got the oven preheated 350 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this for an hour or until it gets golden brown on top. There we go. We'll be back. All right, the pizza rustica has been in the oven for about an hour now. Check it out. Oh, look at that. Perfectly golden brown. Wow. Now we're going to go ahead and let this rest to cool off before we cut into it. We'll be ready to eat. Mama's getting herself a little side of salad. This uh, is just a vet, uh, regular vinaigrette type salad, Italian salad. It goes great with this uh, pizza rustica. 
Yeah, Mom, give that uh, Easter pie a taste there. Yeah. How is it, Don? Damn, he swallowed it. <laughs> How's it come out, Mom? Very good, Paul. Oh, good. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, folks. We appreciate the subscribers. And uh, if you haven't... This is really good. Very close. Thank you. <laughs> if you haven't, hit that notification button, that little bell, and uh, we'll notify you when there's a new video out. Anyway, take care. Ciao.